Right, we'll heal up and we'll just we'll go for Misty, I think. I don't think we really have anything else to do now. If only Rhett were here, he would be proud of me. Because I have an overlay with the correct Pokemon on it. And that never happens. Let's see. Let's see how we get on. There's no real... Uh, I guess I can save it in case... Like, I did accidentally close it during a battle last week, didn't I? So, <clears throat> let's save it. Alright, here we go. She leads with Frogadier. Hey, Wolf. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here for this. We're about to take on Misty. So, here's the rough plan. I know she'll lead with Frogadier, because she always does. And I'm 99% sure it'll flip turn. So... And that will mean it will go into, uh, what's it called? What's that big dumb thing called? Uh, weasel? Floatzel? It will go into Floatzel. Which will fake out. I've watched some videos. And that's, yeah, I, that's what I think will happen. Congratulations, Wolf, by the way, on your victory. Well done. The day before we closed the gym challenge, you got there, you've got the ghost badge, and I'm proud of you. Well done. All right. So, I think, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to flip turn. We're going to go for a spark, because if it, whatever it flip turns into, I think we're just going to KO it. It does flip turn. We take, not that much actually. But we can definitely take another one of those. We spark. This should KO. Yes. Awesome. I'm really hoping this is the worst content ever and it's the easiest gym battle you've ever seen in your life. Okay, she goes into Frogadier again. Now, I think we can just kill this. I really, really, truly do think we can just kill this thing. Ice punches? We can take that, right? Like, we should be able to take an ice punch? Oh, come on. I hate this game. I hate this game. That is absurdly bad luck. Mm, okay. Wow. I mean, you can't write it. Ice punches us. I can't. What's the chance of an ice punch freeze? Mm, okay. I think we have to headbutt. Um. Flip turn. Ah, oh, we could have used bite, man. That would have been a really good time to bite. Uh, right. Okay. Let's think. I don't know how much this would do. Hopefully a bit. That's not terrible damage. Um, okay, so she's going to... Uh, water Pulse. Psy Wave. Swift. Um, okay. I think whatever... Whatever she goes for, Ella is the safe switch here. I think. Uh, Psy Beam? Yep, okay. What do we take from that? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. If we Leech Seed this thing, or do we Faint Attack? I don't want to lose Ella here. I mean, obviously, we'd be putting ourselves at risk of a crit, but... If it means... Yeah, I think that's the best thing that we can do. Let's seed it. Icy Wind? Ooh, we should lift that though, right? That's not Stab and it's not that strong. Ooh, <laughs> let's go, Ella! You are the best, you are the strongest. That's insane. Okay, we get the Leech Seed off. Um, all right. So it might Icy Wind again here, uh, in which case I'm pretty comfortable going into Pelipper. Um, I feel like I'm kind of confident going into Pelipper. Like, Zoro is there as well for backup. Uh, yeah, I feel like Chip's a fairly safe switch. And we know the Furfro can deal with the Frogadier. Psybeam. I don't think this will do half. Yep. Nice, and we get some Elite Seed Recovery. Okay. Ooh, this is tough, man. Okay. 
Cursor out of the way. Do I protect here? Roost here? We could protect or we could roost. Either of those are kind of decent options. Try and stall this thing out. Let's go for Okay, she withdraws. That's fine. I do not know if this thing has an electric type attack. I don't think it does. Obviously, it resets the... Um, I think we can scout with the Protect here pretty safely, right? It obviously resets the Leech Seed. Uh, Rock Tomb, okay. Are we faster than Frogadier? And does Rock Tomb kill us? I don't think Rock Tomb will kill us, either way. And then we get a free uh, Water Pulse off, right? Yeah, okay, so this should not kill us. I don't think this kills us. Nope, great. Now it's rock type. We get a nice attack off here with water pulse. Yep, nice. Okay, so just star me to go. It would have been really awesome to have leech seeded it. Uh, bah, 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 to have still leech seeded it, but you know. Again, I think we're kind of safe to scout with a protect. Um, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. And we got to hope if it's going to use Psy wave, Psy beam, sorry. We can pivot into the... We can pivot into the fox. What's the fox called? Feeble. Yep, side beams. Okay. So if we switch into Zoro, I think there's a chance. Okay. Nearly done this gym battle, I think. Uh, we definitely... Let's snarl this thing. If we should take this. Yeah, we Oh, come on with the hacks, really? Come on, Zoro. Nice, Zoro. Well done. Let's do some decent damage. Some really decent damage. Okay. That means we're free to go for one more. Um, it recovers. But that's okay. We should be doing some really, really good damage. Yeah, that's really nice. And this thing can't hurt us now at all. Uh, okay, so... Are we still confused? Let's snub once more in case she doesn't recover. Once we're not confused, we'll nasty plot. And then we should have this one wrapped up. We're still confused, that's a shame. We still get Snarl off though, which is beautiful. Okay. Let's go for the nasty plot this time. She's going to recover. We should snap out this turn. Oh, there may be one extra. Yeah, we snap out. So we nasty plot. And now we just need to land one attack and we're done. Awesome. Unless we get confused again, in which case that'll be very, very annoying. But I think we're going to be okay. No confusion. Get the snarl off. And we are done. Misty, goodbye. We have two badges. That's awesome. And we didn't fucking lose anybody. That is so nice. Awesome. That's so good. I'm really pleased with that. Like, really pleased with that. Fantastic. Well, that is by far the best gym battle we've had on this game. Sweet. Okay. Fire this, we've made it on stream. That's awesome. We are about to get an encounter. You're on naming duty. Let's see what we're going to find. Huh. Okay. I mean, we're just catching electric types now. We don't have one of these. We haven't had one of these, have we? Zep Striker could actually be kind of useful for um, for Surge. You cannot Thunderwave me, sir. Shockwave. I mean, we're not going to use this right now, right? But why don't you start thinking of names in case we can catch it? Okay, cool. One more of these, and we'll chuck a ball at this thing. 
I mean, Gemma, we, you did say you wanted another pretty Pokemon, or yeah, are you happy? Are you happy with Zep Striker, Theo? I'm not sure how I feel about Zep Striker. I think it's kind of, I guess it's kind of cool. Just googling the shiny version of Zep Striker. So, do you like Zep Striker? We could have. Uh, I was going to say we could have used it in the the horse-based players' cup team, but we probably couldn't have. Hey, Carl. Thanks for coming. We're we're trying to name an electric horse, Marty. Oh, Marty the zebra from uh, Madagascar. Is that right? Is that Marty? That's so good. I'm quite. I'm down for that. Theo, have you named a Pokemon on here before? We already have a Zeus. Zeus died. <laughs> Zeus died. Okay. Gemma wants Rosie. Carl wants Zeus. Okay. Zeus. We did like we did have Zeus. Zeus passed away. Rosie. I feel we could say for a doggy, considering it's our dog. Uh. Ah uh, well, you didn't know he existed. I'm gonna go for Marty. Theo, you win. Well done. I like Marty. Marty the Zebra, that's cool. Um, it does exist, but it's not in the new game. You'll need to catch a Pyro. Uh, yeah, okay. I see where you're going with this. You know on the Ren Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke on the YouTube? Uh, we have a giraffe. We have giraffe rig called Marvin. Uh, what's the giraffe in Madagascar called? All right, let's do this. Come on, good encounter. What are we going to have this time? Can't catch it because we already have a sock. No, it is not. I have the list. You should have got a list too. Yeah, that's true. You do keep a list. Still can't catch it because we already have a sock. Dun 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 dun! Come on. Ooh. Okay. I'll take artillery. Yeah, that's not bad, you know. Okay. First of all, gotta be, be paralyzed. Start thinking of some octopus names. Melvin. Melman. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't remember what it was called. I called it Marvin. And I knew it wasn't right, but I just kind of went for it. Uh, Melman. Melman. Melman the giraffe. All I know is it's Ross from Friends, right? Gloria's the hippo. One, two, three. Posh. Awesome. Now, we can't use it yet because it's just going to die to the tenant search. Melvin. <laughs> Pretty decent thing. Cuddles. I get it. Eight arms. Cuddles. Very nice. Very cuddly. Okay. Then there is King Julian. <laughs> Cuddles the artillery. King Julian the Lemur, yeah, I remember. That's Sasha Baron Cohen, right? Plays him. Have we got any argument with Cuddles the Artillery? Hank, Rico, are they they're all penguin names? Okay, right. New thing! When we're, when we're naming the Pokemon, don't, don't list other names. Yeah, Cuddles is good. We've got with Cuddles. Cuddles is cool. Let's not list loads of other names when we're trying to name the Pokemon. A little bit annoying to use, I imagine, like if you're using it consistently. Oh look, it's a Zeus! <laughs> um, but we can't catch that because we did already have one. Uh, so, yeah, sorry, by our rules, that's a no-go. What's the messenger? What? What messenger? Oh, in Greek myth? I don't know. Hermes. Mercury? Hermes? I do not know. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm not going crazy, right? This is Sork. Hello, Sork. This does not have dig, right? This does not have dig. No, it does not. And yet, dig. Question mark. Big question mark. Any ideas? 
Anybody? And not. Me neither. Okay. I hope he leads off with that stupid uh, Loudred. Now we've kind of half prepped for that. Four Pokemon. Should be Loudred. It is Loudred. Level 28. Okay. So I think we just spark this thing. Hyper. Oh man, I didn't. Hyper voice. We actually take that reasonably well. Paralyze? Paralyze. Yes, that's awesome. That's really good. We should be able to kill this thing now, right? Loudra is not that fast, is it? Okay, but draws into Grovile. Lunatone. Whack this hard too. Paralyze? Oh, you're so good. Okay. Who's our Lunatone answer? Zoro, right? Yeah. Let's go, Zoro. Use a psychic attack. I dare you to use a psychic attack. You're gonna rock tomb or something though, aren't you? Power gem, okay. Uh, live. Survive. Survive, yes, excellent. Snarl, yes, always snarl. Super effective. Die. Oh, hangs on, okay, fine. Don't crit, please don't crit. Okay, good, eat our berry. Hmm. Is Nasty Plot greedy? Is Nasty Plot here really, really greedy? Yeah, because we're not going to outspeed the Grovile, are we? Let's just take that. I was just thinking, could we have possibly repositioned there? But I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Lunatone down. Good start. Who is he going to next? Loudred again? We definitely outspeed the Loudred, and we can definitely knock this thing out with a snarl. And if not, we reduce the Hyper Voice's power, but we should knock it out. Yeah, okay. Zoro continuing to put in work literally everywhere. So good. Okay, now he goes into the Grovile. Um, my guess is... Like, he's got to go for either... Yeah, I know. Do you know? I watched I watched Wolfie's thing earlier. That's why. That's where that's come from. I watched one of his things earlier. Um, so he's got right. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Leaf blade or like a bug move. Like he could bug move here. Either way, he shouldn't do anything to hurt Icarus. Yes. I don't think he can have anything to hurt us, unless he rock tombs. I mean, if he rock tombs, then fucking power up here. Okay. I think we're okay. And we should deal a shitload of damage with Air Cutter. Yeah. Like, this should genuinely do a decent chunk of damage. Off. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, okay, you can bury. Although now I am slightly worried that we're not going to outspeed it. But I don't think we have a choice now. We have to go for something. Oh, shit, it's got rocked him. No, Icarus! God damn it. Why? Why does Grovile have rock tomb? Can someone explain that? Okay, fuck. That's bad. 86, 70, 93, 40, 77, 69. Oh boy. Okay. Furfro could potentially survive a rock tomb. Zoro could outspeed. Right, hang on. Because this could be run ending here if we get this wrong. Uh, damage calculator. Grovile, level 28. Blank set. Level 28 or 29? Does anyone remember if it is level 28 or 29?
to kill the hot this could end the whole team So if this thing is level 28, then Zoro always outspeeds it, no matter what happens. So if it's level 28, the maximum speed it can have is 92, and obviously Zoro is 93. If it's level 29, then obviously it can outspeed. So in reality, I don't think we have a, I mean, I don't think we have a choice. We have to go into Zoro, right? And hope that we can knock this thing out. But otherwise, we're in big trouble. Shit. If it's timid, if it's if it's max speed, we're done for. So then the question is, yeah, so all right, so okay, if it's level 29, which it is. If it is plus speed nature 252, which it might be. It has, it will outspeed us. If it's not, then we outspeed it. But I guess the question then is, do we suck a punch? I think we have to risk it, right? Well, we don't suck a punch because if we su suck a punch, it's not going to kill. Okay, let's find out. You know what? Let's calc it. No, it's never going to kill, right? Uh, what level are we? 31. 41 attack. Okay, so if this thing has no investment whatsoever. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Sucker Punch deals, if, if the Grovile has no bulk whatsoever, Sucker Punch deals 36 to 43%. Right? Yeah, I know, I changed the nature because I needed it for Misty to do, to, to do as much damage as possible with Snarl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if it has no bulk whatsoever, Sucker Punch will KO here. But, if it has any bulk at all, it just depends how the thing's trained, right? Okay. Okay, last calc. Let's assume it's like max attack. So this thing has got dread... Oh, right here, it doesn't have that dreadful. Uh, jolly, 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 jolly. If I look at fur throw... Level 29. Man, this is bad news. What's Furfro's defense stat? I'm thinking Snarl might be the play too. I'm just seeing um, 45 with 84 HP. Okay. And 45 defense. Okay, with Fur Coat. So if he has, for example, Leaf Blade. Well, so here's something interesting. If he is, I think the play is to Snarl. A plus two Leaf Blade, if it has max attack, if max attack plus two Leaf Blade does not KO Furfro with my exact stats. Which means we are free to snarl. Um, wait, let's see what. How much does the headbutt do? With 68 attack, headbutt. Headbutt always does enough to KO in that circumstance. So I think we are free to snarl. Oh boy, I don't want to lose Zoro, but. Yes! Die! Fuck you, Gravile! You piece of shit. Oh, God, that was so close. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Icarus. Okay, um... What do we do here? 
chip? Chip and yeah, because he'll water move into this thing and then scout. Aqua chip. Okay. Cool. It's not gonna be out of chaos, so let's attack it. No chip. It's going to be its optimal attack. <sighs> nice. Really nice. Jesus, that was close. Holy shit, that was so close. <sighs> Die tree, dino. Yeah, exactly. God damn it, that thing. Okay, well, we get two fresh encounters now. I am sad about Icarus because his motor drive would have come in really useful for Lieutenant Surge. But, at the same time, we did a job. Okay, well we take those. Thank you for the lucky egg. Rook? Oh, the rock? I know. Chip reminds me of your Tapu Fini all throughout Draft League. Much better. Okay. Oh, Diglett, don't do that. Okay, right. Excellent. This is good news. It's not a lady though, so we still don't have Athena. Wolf, is that a hand up? That's, that's, that's perfect. Here we go. Get in the ball. One, two, three, four, perfect. Names. We didn't have a rule for next. What is a what, what's the Greek god of ground or steel? Or the Roman god of ground or steel or any god of ground or steel? Since that's the kind of theme we're going with here. Gemma, do you know? Or do you know what steel is in Latin? It's a dig. Hades, oh, like god of the underworld. I quite like that since it lives underground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. I'm with, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I kind of like that. Done. Let's get the next one better in every way. Her dear, but it's a boy. Gemma, I will let you name the dog. Sorry. Ferrothorn is Iron Barb. Oh yeah, Ferrothorn. Oh man, Pokemon are Pokemon is clever, right? Gemma, what would you like to name the doggy? Man, that's so good. I can't believe that. So ferro or ferrous being iron. I go F-E for like the chemical symbol for iron. Gus. All right, I'll call it Gus. That's so clever. And ferro thorn. Oh my God. That's genuinely astoundingly good. I could go change it, but I can't. Gus is our friend's dog. And Gus is really cool. And Gus is the exact same color as this herd here. Gus, welcome to the team. Well, there we go. For watching. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah. We're still making progress on the game. My dog needs a poo, so I'm going to go. Have a great day.